What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and to a brand new video. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a bunch of different sustainable swaps and items that I've collected throughout the past few months and I want to share with you guys. If you make these swaps, you will not only be helping the environment, but you will save money over time and maybe some calories over time as well. So I'm gonna be sharing with you a bunch of different food and kitchen related items. Then I'm gonna move into more self care items. And then I have a couple miscellaneous things to talk about. And I've created a whole list of things that my followers have recommended to me. And I wanna share with you guys things that I never even thought about or I've never even heard of. Before we get into any of these items, I want to stress that Sustainability is about using what you have um, before buying new things. So if any of these items you either already have or you have the plastic version or something like that, make sure to use those up first. There's no reason to throw away all the stuff that you have to go buy sustainable items. You need to use what you have until it is completely worn out and then you can start to incorporate more sustainable items into your lifestyle. So this intro is long enough already. Let's just get into the food and kitchen related items. So the first two items I'm just gonna get out of the way because I feel like everybody knows about these and I wanted to add them first because if you're not using these already, so the first is a reusable water bottle. My boyfriend actually just got me this Hydro Flask for Christmas. It saves so much plastic and it saves money over time. I know you can get 24, 48 water bottles for super cheap, um, but over time, if you just buy one reusable water bottle from Walmart, TJ Maxx, somewhere super cheap, you can save a ton of money over the long run and you're not gonna be creating so much plastic waste. And the second item that we all know about, and I feel like most people are doing a good job on this, is just using reusable straws. They save money, they're easy to clean, less waste. I feel like we all know about that one, so. Item number three, I am so excited about. I asked for these for Christmas, and these are Stasher silicone Ziploc bags. So these are an alternative to Ziploc bags, um, any type of just little plastic bag that you throw a sandwich in or you throw chips in, you eat it and then you throw it away. These are plastic free reusable silicone storage bags. So you can actually put food in these or you can prep a whole meal and put them in these bags and they can go in the microwave, the oven, they can go in like pots to boil. It gets even better. This is a women owned brand and you can reuse it over and over again and it's dish dish washer. Oh my god. It's dish washer safe. My plan with these bigger ones is to chop up a bunch of fruit and stick them in here and put it in the freezer to make smoothies with. I will link these down below through Amazon. They also have smaller ones which I am going to get as well. Next we have reusable produce bags. This is something that I got back in July and it has changed shopping for me. I absolutely love taking these to the store. I started realizing with the amount of produce I was getting over the summer, how many of the little plastic bags I was taking off those rolls. I found this like seven pack of reusable grocery bags on Amazon. I've been using them ever since. So the next item is just a big tote for groceries. They sell these all over the place, but I actually had this huge tote in my closet and you can get free totes or bags from you know pink or a bunch of different stores if you buy so much i bet that somebody in your family or one of your friends has some big tote that they've never used if we start to use more reusable produce bags and reusable grocery bags there's going to be more and more plastic bags at the store that aren't being used and maybe these brands will stop making as much. If you are a tea drinker or a coffee drinker and you use Keurig pods once, twice, three times a day, I would highly recommend getting a reusable K-cup. I don't have one of those because I don't really use a Keurig much. If you have a Keurig and you're using that every day, I definitely recommend getting a reusable K-cup and some coffee grounds. Not only is it gonna save a ton of waste, but it'll save money in the long run. I actually like cold coffee a lot more than hot coffee. For Christmas, because I always just would use like the Keurig to make hot coffee and then make it cold, my parents got me some ground coffee and they got me like a cold brew big 
pitcher and there is a tube down the middle to put coffee grounds in and a bunch of cold water. The whole thing for me probably makes, I would say eight cups of coffee. The next item is just a blender. If you love smoothies and you're constantly getting like pre-made smoothies at the store that are in the plastic bottles, I'd recommend getting a blender. I've had the same one for years and it was $20. This is one of those things that will save a lot of plastic, but it will also save you a bunch of extra calories and sugar. The last sustainable item on my food slash kitchen list is a water filter. Since freshman year, I've had a Brita water filter in my fridge at college because the only source of water we have in our dorm room is just the teeny little sink to brush our teeth in. And this might sound extra, but when I'm going on vacation and we're staying at like a VRBO, I will actually look through the pictures and see if the fridge has some sort of water filter. And if it doesn't, I will take my Brita water filter with me. And I know that sounds extra, but I'm just trying everything I can to make sure I'm not just constantly using plastic water bottles. If you don't yet have a reusable water bottle or a water filter, I would just recommend buying one bottle that actually filters water for you. I've seen these everywhere. I know Brita actually has some of their own. So if you just kind of want a double whammy there, I would recommend getting one of those. Those are the food and kitchen items that I have to share with you today, but make sure to stay till the end because my followers did leave a bunch of good recommendations as well. Now we're going to move into some of the self-care sustainable items. The first self-care item is soap bars rather than liquid soap that comes in bottles because items like this over time create a ton of plastic waste. As I mentioned in the beginning, I'm going to finish everything I have before moving on to more sustainable items. The next two items I want to talk about are not only sustainable, but they also just help small business owners, which is handmade soaps and lotions. So a friend of my mom's actually has a goat farm and she makes her own lotion and soap out of that and sells it to people for a very low price. My mom actually paid her more than she was charging. And I love that it comes in a mason jar so you can reuse this after. Not only is this more sustainable by using a bar of soap, you're not buying a big bottle of lotion, but it's also supporting local people or small business owners. The next sustainable swap I have for you guys is a reusable makeup cloth. I don't actually wear makeup, but I've bought so many packs of just makeup wipes because I like to wipe my face in the morning with them. It's absolutely unnecessary. I could definitely just wipe my face with water. I know that when you have like a full face of makeup on, sometimes it can take like two to four Neutrogena wipes just to get the makeup off and it's just so much waste and money spent when you could just be using a reusable one. Next we have an electronic toothbrush. Now these are expensive. If you don't already have one, I have a great recommendation for you. I bought this for myself last Christmas. It saves so much waste because you're not just constantly buying cheap toothbrushes that just kind of like lose their firmness. Like the bristles kind of lose their firmness super quick. These heads you can replace every three to four months. Oral-B and Crest actually have a recycling service where you can send back your heads and they will take them all apart and recycle them. If you cannot afford one of these or if you just simply don't want an electronic toothbrush, I've heard that bamboo toothbrushes are great. They're compostable. You can also replace them every three months and they're just a better alternative to the plastic toothbrushes. This is something I've been using for four or five years. I never even realized it was so sustainable. Every month four new heads come in. My family and I just kind of share that. So there are a ton of brands out there where you can just buy the handle and replace your heads every once in a while. The last two items on my self-care list are feminine care products. Using a menstrual cup rather than buying tampons and pads can save so much money, so much waste. They're healthier for you. There's just so many benefits. I bought this flex cup back in the summer. If you're like me at all, I just cannot use menstrual cups. Everybody keeps recommending one brand to me called Salt, so I will link that down below, but they're just very uncomfortable for me. Um, so if you're like me and you do not want to use one of those, there are so many brands of tampons and pads that are more sustainable and they don't have chemicals in them. First of all, I don't even know why there's chemicals in tampons and pads. That's so scary and it has been linked to so many female reproductive issues and cancers and diseases. 
I have found this brand that I like. There are so many different brands. These are Lola. They're made with 100% organic cotton. On their website, they actually have tampons that don't have an applicator. They say that it's a little bit weird the first few times you use it, but after a while you get used to it so you're not just throwing away the plastic applicator every single time you use a tampon. The applicator is BPA free and the tampons are free of synthetic fibers, fragrance and dyes, and chlorine bleach. The next time I need pads, I will also be getting Lola pads, but at the moment I have these always pure pads that are free of chlorine bleaching. We're now gonna move into the miscellaneous category. I have three things on this list that I wanna share with you guys. First thing I recommend having instead of candles is an oil diffuser. These have helped so much with my anxiety and they're just natural oils. I have lavender to help me sleep and I have one that is supposed to help with your immunity. There are so many chemicals in candles. Every time I light a candle now, within like, I would say 10 to 15 minutes, I can get a super bad headache. There is a documentary on Netflix. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll put it up here on the screen that talks about all of the different bad chemicals that, that they put into body sprays and candles and like Febreze and things like that. So I would recommend getting an oil diffuser. You're gonna save a lot of money and waste and it's just a little bit better for your lungs. Probably a bunch of other things. I would recommend having some type of jars. I got mason jars for my birthday and I have been storing things in here that I would normally make in the kitchen and then I would store just in a Ziploc bag. You can also make like coffee in these rather than buying more disposable coffee cups to take to work with you. You can make overnight oats in these. There's just a bunch of things that you can do with mason jars. The last miscellaneous thing that I wanna talk about is buying and gifting, donating and clothing. This Christmas, I actually gifted some leggings of mine to my mom that I have been wearing for a long time, but she likes them a lot better than I do. And it seemed a little bit weird at first to gift her something that I had been wearing, but she absolutely loves them. So if you have some clothes that you're not wearing and you know that your best friend loves it, any of your siblings love it, your parents love it, consider gifting it to them. By donating gifting your clothing, you can declutter your closet and you're also making sure that these pieces are not just going to waste. To finish off this video, I'm just going to list out some things that my followers recommended. I have nine things to tell you guys about. There were so many great recommendations, but I'm just going to be sharing the ones that I have not already covered. The first thing somebody mentioned was shampoo and conditioning bars. Can you imagine if the only thing that was in your shower was a shampoo bar, a conditioner bar, a bar to wash your body with, and a bar to wash your face with? That sounds perfect. I don't know how many times I have gotten into my own shower or other people's showers that's just cluttered with so many bottles of different things. The next item is Lane 8 shoes. If you already have good shoes, don't go out and buy these just because they're sustainable, but Lane 8 has great tennis shoes that are made from recycled materials. They also donate a ton to charity as well. The next item is a chargeable lighter. Once you finish up the lighters that you use to light candles, light anything else with, you can get a chargeable lighter that doesn't have lighter fluid in it and you're not throwing plastic away every time you finish up a lighter. Next is beeswax wraps. Apparently this is kind of like cling wrap. Beeswax wraps mold nicely to anything that you have in your kitchen and you want to store away. And then when you're done with them, you can just rinse them off, let them air dry and reuse them next time. Somebody recommended fixing anything you have that breaks. Now, if it's something that you just absolutely cannot fix, I understand. If you have something that you know you can fix, it's only gonna take maybe 20 to 30, 30 minutes to learn how to fix it and fix it. That's gonna save you money from buying a new one. It's gonna save waste from throwing it away. The next is reusable cotton pads. This is kind of going along with the reusable makeup wipe, but if you use cotton pads every day to like put toner on, or other things like that. They do have reusable ones that, as I've said a million times, save waste and also save money. The last two things I have not heard of, but I'm going to look into. One is unpaper towels. I will link them down below. I'm gonna look more into them, but that's definitely something that you should look into if you're constantly buying paper towels. The last thing is paper deodorant. It's P-A-P-R. I believe it's vegan, it's free of 
a bunch of crap that you don't want on your armpits and the packaging is completely compostable. So that is everything that I wanted to share today with you guys. A huge goal of mine in 2021 is just to be way more aware of how much waste I am producing and I hope that you guys are going to do this with me as well. I'm going to link as much as I can down below for you guys if you want to buy them or look into them or get them as a gift for somebody else. Make sure to comment down below any other items that I did not mention that you use or that you want to recommend to other people. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're going to use some of these things that I have mentioned today. Make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell because a lot of, of my videos do not actually get pushed out there. I believe it's just because of how small my account is. but. Make sure to subscribe. If you are subscribed, turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.